The drywall guys are coming back. If the guys that are doing the job wear a mask, go put a mask on. That's all I'm saying, so. Viva Mexico! Check this out. Oh my gosh. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Nico's Property Show. I'm so happy because today the drywall guys are coming back and they are coming in deep. They got to do the second layer of mud to make sure that everything really settled well and that the walls are going to be nice, smooth, and they're going to look very, very, very nice, okay? Because the first coat is really there just to put that first base on it and then it dries and you might have a few cracks here and there, but then when they add that second actual layer of mud, that's what really gets it smoothed out and then they'll be able to come back after that dries to get it sanded down. So then then the painters can come in and get it all primed and ready for trim doors and everything else inside of the house i'm really happy the guys are coming in they came with two vans last time let's see how many people show up this time i'm so excited to see this thing get going let's get this progress and let's head into the house once they get here So I'm inside one of the rooms. I had to get away from over there because they are flying around. They do not play when it's time to work. They're in there. They're adding the second coat. As I told you earlier in the video, that's something you have to do. They do that first coat once they hang it and then they wait for it to dry. They come back. They sand it down just a little bit, add the second coat, and then they'll wait for this one to dry and then they'll come and sand it again to where the walls are basically flawless and ready to get primed and painted and so that the, the process can keep moving in the building and everything like that. So I'm very happy that they showed up they come in like I said they actually brought three vans today the first time it was only two so if you haven't seen the first video go make sure you check that one out but I'm gonna get them working stop talking so much and just keep getting this process because I'm so happy with how it's going
Viva México. Arriba los paisas de Zacatecas. I like that, brother. Let's go. Viva México. You already know what's up. <laughs> Alrighty, y'all. So the guys have officially finished up with the second coat um, of getting all of this mudded, and they're cleaning up right now. I'm excited. They were going crazy. So they showed up at literally 9 a.m. and got done within two hours. Unreal. I don't understand it, but hey, when you show up in three vans and you get everything knocked out, that's just how they work, man. Like, that's why I love them. Great crew. Carlos, the, uh, the head man over there. Um, amazing guy, literally lovely dude. He's just, he's just, he's a great guy. Gives fair prices and everything is good. So they're in here finishing up everything, um, getting this thing cleaned up for me a little bit, and they'll be back for the finishing of this video, which will be them sanding everything. So we got to wait probably a day, a day and a half for this to dry out, so they can come in, get it all sanded down, so that my painters can come in and prime all this, which is going to be an amazing experience because it's going to really make the house look good. They're going to get out of here, get everything cleaned up, come back and sand, and then the painters are going to do their job. Well, top of the morning to you folks. Guess what? The drywall guys are back and today is sanding day. So it is going to get dusty in that house. So I actually pulled out my GoPro because I didn't want to bring an expensive camera in there and get it all dusted on. Um, when you know the van's pulled up, then you know the work's about to get done. I'm about to go in there. I can hear the music already playing. That means there's about to be a fiesta up in there, but it is going to get extremely dusty. So I got to open all the windows and I hope that they get this thing knocked out pretty darn quick because when all that dust starts going around and swirling around while they're sanding all the walls to get it down real good, man, it gets crazy. So so why don't I go in there, get you some awesome shots, and we're gonna keep progressing through this build. Alright y'all, I have to run outside and get like a t-shirt. I don't have a mask, so it gets pretty bad in there. And when they start wearing masks, if the guys that are doing a job wear a mask, go put a mask on. That's all I'm saying. So let me get them working. It's going pretty crazy in here. Alright y'all, so the guys were looking at me crazy, they were like, yo, you need a mask, go, come here, we got one in the van for you, so they even take care of me on my job site and give me a mask to go back in there to film them, so how amazing are they? <laughs> Let me stop talking, let me go get this work, because they are in there killing it, and this place is going to be awesome once they're done.
Act like you're doing something, huh? Yeah, finally, man. <laughs> So they're behind me working and they are doing a phenomenal job right now. If you've seen them using a light, a couple of the guys have it. That's to make sure that they can actually see all the, um, you know, the, the little issues in the drywall that's already been sanded and everything like that. So they go behind it with a light that really allows them to be able to see like the curvature and if it's, you know, bowling out a little bit or if they need to sand it down some more because you can't catch that with your own eye without any light because it is dark in the house. Obviously, there's no electricity running to the house yet and everything. So they are making sure that they're putting lights on everything all in the corners. And then there's one guy that goes behind everybody else that goes and squiggles in the areas where they need to go fix it after they're done like rough sanding i guess you can call it that so they're in there knocking it out doing a great job and i honestly think they'll be done within like an hour or two this is kind of crazy but when they show up in three vans you know it's gonna get done so let me get back inside y'all so we are done with all of the drywall works so that means i'm ready to get this thing primed and then i'm ready to get my trim installed my crown molding my interior doors this is going to be freaking amazing i am so happy they got it all cleaned up and let me get out of the camera here let me turn this around for you so look here is my kitchen area I'm so happy, look how good this looks. Here's my living room area, here's that guest bedroom, and look how phenomenal the job turned out. We got the guest bathroom looking darn good. Guest bedroom number two, and now I'm gonna take you all the way around to the other side of the house where we go into my pantry. And now that they're done and it's cleaned up, it looks so darn good. Look at this pantry, y'all. Look how much space. I even got a window to peek out if I want to. Going into my master bedroom, look at this. I am so excited, okay? My closet is huge. Cannot wait to use it. Bathroom, phenomenal. Cannot wait to use it, literally. And I'm talking about the bathtub right there where I'm gonna be soaking, watching the sunset. And then we're gonna jump into my utility room right here. Check this out. Oh my gosh. Here's my office. Freaking amazing. I'm so happy. And I'm gonna jump into the garage here. They got it cleaned up as well. 
look at this, man. I am so freaking ready. And I know this is the drywall video, but if you haven't been watching and you haven't seen the outside, let me show you this. Look at this beautiful stonework on that foundation, on this front wall right there. This turned out good. I even put some straw down because when it's raining, here's a little pro tip for you. When it rains outside, if you don't have straw or something like that down, so the mud will actually splatter onto your stone or your brick or whatever you have right there. So what the straw does is allow it to rain. The mud doesn't hit over there because all that's happening is the straw is getting, um, I guess you can say just like mashed down by the rain. And then your stone is clean, your brick is clean and everything works out great. But but why don't we jump inside and end out this video? Okay, y'all, again, I am super duper happy with how everything went. So excited to finally get this thing primed, to start doing other work, to get this thing rolling so I can finally live in it. But regardless, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you like and subscribe, and make sure you follow me on all social platforms, especially TikTok, because it's so easy to film, edit, and post on there. If you haven't yet, check out nikospropertyshow.com, grab you some merch, maybe a hat, a hoodie, a t-shirt, and use code Nico for 10% off your entire order. And without further ado, smile more, worry less, and stay blessed. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.